Hi everyone, it is Kato. Today I will be showing you how I made the unicorn horn for my latest blight doll. I already sanded and carved the mouth and the nose, so the last step before the repaint is making the horn. I am starting by finding the center part of the face, which I mark with my pencil. I mark the place where I want the horn to be. Here I am using my rotary tool to make a hole through the head. This will be permanent, so I won't be able to detach the horn whenever I want the more natural look for this tool. I am screwing in a screw that will be the base for the hole. I am using epoxy clay to cover the screw. After it dried, I am adding a longer straw and twisting around the dried layer. Here I realized that I can't really do the twist beautifully, so I smoothed the surface. I keep my fingers wet so I can smoothen the surface easier. After the horn has dried completely, I will send the twist into the horn. So here you can see how I am marking the horn. Now I can start creating the pattern by carving along the marked lines.
am using sanding paper too, as well as different diamond files. The horn is finished. The next step will be the painting. This is the finished doll with the unicorn horn. I used metallic paint and shimmers to paint the horns and the face. I think that is the easiest technique if we want a permanent unicorn horn for all blight dolls. For more Bly tutorials, please become a Golden Insider supporter on my Patreon page, where I share more Bly and Pulip tutorials, starting with head opening, through the carving, repainting, body changing, finishing with creating the pulling cords and assembling. Thank you for watching this video. See you at the next one. Bye!